So let's talk about uh, what I liked about this game. So uh, first of all, this the sheet that shows you like how to play your very first game, you know how to set it up. It's all kind of set up for you. Really lets you get going very well. Um, I really like the delayed actions, like having to kind of plan ahead one turn and then be like, okay, I'm going to do this. I also really like the fact that every character is different and every nemesis is different. They all play differently. The way you beat them is different. And uh, it's really cool that, that that's what happens. Um, and uh, I mean, just all that into a really good package of cooperative gameplay, you know, for the nights when you don't want to be like struggling against other players, you can kind of like work together as a team and kind of puzzle solve, uh, you know, each nemesis and, and everything. Um, oh, one more thing is I really like the fact that you don't have to shuffle your deck. <laughs> so just not having to shuffle, you know, I get tired of shuffling in Dominion. And that's one of the reasons why I don't play the game as much anymore. Um, as far as negatives, I mean, there aren't really a lot. Uh, maybe depending on the random set of circumstances, like which cards you get, uh, the nemesis can be very difficult to defeat. Um, and they even have like an increased difficulty mode for if you're getting too good at this game, you get increased difficulty. Uh, but as far as that, I mean, no, not really. I mean, that's, that's, I think it's a very solid cooperative deck builder. I highly recommend you check it out if you haven't, especially if you like cooperative games. And, uh, or if you have friends that do, you know, it can get them into, into this stuff. So there you have it. Uh, my uh, review for Aeon's End, uh, War Eternal.